next generation Caterpillar 323 takes excavators into a whole new era with 21st century features that are bound to win a lot of friends, old and new. If our experience with this forestry road building version, working in Northland is anything to go by. Among the many all new advances is a complete lack of switches and push buttons anywhere in the cab. Everything is controlled from a touch screen, sitting on the lower right hand front pillar. Everything, the radio, aircon, systems and controls, the lot. It can be automated the way an operator digs a hole, blades, a surface and avoids hitting the objects because it's all computerised. While it's not your typical forestry digger, being more of a construction machine, the next gen 323 actually works damn well in the bush and Dargaville based Douglas Logging has been making good use of its technology to create forestry roads, drainage and skid site landing construction since taking delivery in late 2018. The Douglas team were the first forestry customers with the next gen CAT 323 in New Zealand, a machine that replaces the previous 323F model. What makes it really significant is that it is completely new from the ground up. In fact, the next gen 323 is the first full redesign of the 20 ton class CAT machines in almost a quarter of a century. By starting with a clean sheet of paper, the design engineers were able to introduce a raft of new technologies into the next-gen diggers to make them smarter and easier to use, like getting rid of all the fussy switch gear that clutters the cab and replacing them with a single interface. This makes for a very clean and streamlined interior, even if it does feel unusual to be sitting in a machine without any buttons to push or switches to flick. Actually, there is one button that starts the engine, the latest six-cylinder, 6.7-litre ACERT unit, built to Tier 4 final eco-friendly specs. It's not only super clean, this engine is also super economical, consuming much less fuel than its predecessor without compromising power or performance. Put that down to the precise combination of lower engine speed and a large hydraulic pump governed by the new suite of technologies under the bonnet, which enables it to work very effectively in eco mode for much of the time. Other welcome changes include better access to the engine oil dipstick, now moved lower so the operator can reach from the ground. Same with the add blue tank, which has now been moved from, the, from high on the body down to a position next to the lower step. The new cab is roomier and features more glass, which is especially noticeable when you plonk yourself in the operator's seat. From there, the operator has a great view through the large screens, but there's a nice piece of technology that helps overcome the usual blind spot where the boom is situated. Cameras are placed on all sides to give the operator a genuine 360 degree view looking down on the machine. Equipped with a high and wide chassis, full guarding, and large single grousers on the tracks especially for the Douglas team. Their CAT 323 is well set up for venturing out into the cutover to prepare new skids. It also has a large 1.2 cubic metre bucket and extending thumb for clearing plenty of dirt and debris. Through the new generation of electronics, an operator can now build roads and pads to very precise measurements and avoid hitting anything thanks to the automated sequences that can be easily programmed into the machine by the operator. It's also quick and smooth. This makes life so much easier for older operators and has plenty of appeal for younger ones too.